Week two of the NFL season is kicked off, dog. And how about you take some lager, add it with some cider beer, and that's what they call a snake bite. Half lager, half cider. Yes, I do enjoy it. I'm quite a fan. My neighbors put me on game. You take some lager, you split it with some cider, and boom, you have a snake bite, dog. Swinging and banging on the ones and twos. Allow me to reintroduce myself to you. I'm Kendra Gavant, the professor of gratitude. You rocking the University of Gratitude podcast because every day we take a gratitude journal and we are writing down why we are grateful. We're writing down that story. It doesn't matter how long it is. doesn't matter how short it is. You're writing that story down because as long as you're writing it, you cannot have a negative thought come into your head. So as long as you're writing it, you have that positivity, you're in a better place, and you won't have the negative energy just banging on that right side of your head, making you wish you could start the day over with. Oh no, get your gratitude journal, write down that story about why, because this is a self-help podcast, and I'm with you every single day practicing the routine and modeling how this whole thing works. Today is old friend day, man. Old friend day. What a hell of a day to celebrate. And who even thought a day like that could exist? But it's old friend day. So I want you to take today. Call somebody up. Call your moms up. Call your pops up. Call up your homeboy, your homegirl, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, old girl down the street. That college teacher that helped you out, send an email, but reach out to an old friend today. And one of the ways, one of the big reasons, I think this is just a perfect timing and how things aligned, because if you got my book, If You Can't Get Better, Be Better, the Gratitude Journal for Educators, then you see a quote in here on this day by Louise Hay. I damn near want to stop the music for this. You have been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked by approving of your, try approving of yourself and see what happens. So whenever you call up your partner, do not pole mouth each other. Do not talk about how much the kids get on your nerves. Do not talk about how much your spouses stress you out. Do not talk about how you wish you could get your hair done by a better person. No, queen, king, call each other and give each other props on what they're doing. Maybe you've seen how they've handled their Instagram. Cha-ching. Maybe you are rocking with the way they've been posting messages on Facebook. Instead of putting the old fight stories, they're showing pictures of kids and just having a bunch of powerful quotes, points. Whatever it is, spend real time today on old friend day. Call each other and approve each other. Don't just swing and talk shit. My three gratitudes today, so here we go. Number one, shout out to my niece, for inviting my kids out on this Sunday. Yeah, the kids get out the house, yay, so daddy does not have to hear how bored they are and how much they wish they could go someplace. Hell, we just had a house party yesterday, went to one, God dog. Either way, let me finish, hold up, let me put, finish with our rope. Because when they do start talking about how bored they are, I'll bring up the chores, then my wife says, I'm interrupting and messing up a good time. I ain't got to hear none of that shit. None of it because my niece invited the kids out the house. Shout out to her. Thank you, niecey. Happy birthday. Number two, separate one. I told y'all about how cheesy gratitudes work. You take one thing and you break it up. Shout out to my sister for driving all the way over here and picking these damn kids up to participate in the birthday events. The queen has to work, she can't take them. My eldest has to do something, she can't take them. You know damn well I'm not fucking with it because I can't drive, so I can't take them. So shout out to my sister, that's an hour drive, dog. With these gas prices in 2022 and she's gonna flip all the way over here to pick them up? Whoo, good love, awesome love for her. Shout out to her for that. We don't have, we don't move well at all when my wife is working. Don't, don't move well at all. And I wish I could go, but it's a girl's thing only and they're just getting their nails done. 
Like, I can't get my nails done, dog. I mean, what's up with that, man? Show your boy some love. Either way, shout out to her. A thousand thank you, sis. Let me bow my head. Gratitude number three on this Sunday. Thank you for the weather beginning to give this temperature change. That means I can sit out here in the garage and I can actually make all the videos, do all the editing, do all the clubhouse, do all the wisdom, do all that type of stuff that I need to without the fear of death right there outside this damn garage door. No, with the temperature falling, I can be here, I can chill, I can just, I can just sit, man. I can even have a drink out here. So a thousand, a million thank yous to Mother Nature and the temperature change. About time. Good people, I'm appreciating you all rocking with me on this YouTube, whether you catch me on Spotify, maybe you got me on Google, maybe you're with me on Apple, anything you're on, especially if you're at thekendrickavot.com. A thousand thank y'alls for rocking with me. I want y'all to keep doing this. I'm growing with this. I'm getting better with this. This is a self-help podcast to improve your mindset. If you don't have the money to pay for a coach, if you don't have the money to attend these high-powered trainings, damn it, get you a spiral. Get you a gratitude journal and start creating and building this habit of writing down why you're grateful. Y'all be pretty. Stay grateful. I salute you. A thousand thank yous for rocking with me. I'm out. It is time to stop waiting on somebody else to teach you, to make you, to motivate you, to inspire you to be a better person. You can do it yourself by picking up a gratitude journal and writing down why you're grateful every single day. That will cost you nothing. There's no complaining about prices. There's no complaining about who's available. There's no complaining about if they are compatible with you. Get yourself a gratitude journal. Start writing this stuff out. Take the steps to be better. You.